Hello Taurus, welcome to your very first situationship video with me. This is from the 27th of June to the 4th of July. Alright, so your questions for today are, how does my person feel about me now? What changes does my person want to make in regards to our situationship? Does my person have other situationships at the same time? Where is this situationship between my person and I heading? What should I do for the best outcome for this situationship? And will this situationship eventually make me happy? Alright, let me know how these questions feel. You know, I'm trying to accommodate everyone. So here we have the Devil and Five of Pentacles. So the Devil being to the max! Exclamation mark with five of pentacles the lack of consciousness so this situationship is making you feel very very lonely the devil bad energy toxic frustrated and alone which is not good all right so how does my person feel about me anxiety all right so that's also not good you both need to get together and have a little chat Taurus all right, let me focus on your energy for a moment, Taurus. Situationship question, Spirit. Taurus, 27th June to the 4th of July. Taurus Sun. All right, thank you. I'll use my gorgeous, special and sacred Illuminati Tarot. All right, let's do it for my gorgeous Taurus viewing this video spirit how does my person feel about me now the world this is the end to a cycle the end to a karmic journey so is it the end between you and your person does your person think well it's over all right <laughs> all right <laughs> What changes does your person want to make in regards to this situationship? King of Cups. They want to give maximum love, nurturing. They want to give all the care in the world. King of Cups is sitting there thinking about how he feels. Okay. Guarding that cup of love. That's a special cup of love just for you. And he wants to give it, he's like waiting, like when's the perfect time to give Taurus my cup of love. So that's the changes he wants to, or she wants to make, give his cup of love. He thinks it's over, or she thinks it's over. Sorry, I'm saying he because it's a king. If it was a queen, I'd say she, you know what, he, what I mean. All right. Does your person have other situationships at the same time? I don't think so. I think he's emotionally detached from everything right now. Because they think it's over. So they're just trying to go on to find spiritual fulfillment somehow. Okay, so your person is heading off to find happiness for themselves in the nine of cups this is eight he's going or she's going off to the nine okay at night when they're alone in the twilight state it's like i need to find happiness Alrighty, where is situ where is this situation with you and your person heading seven of swords not a great energy this you know, through my experience with tarot over the many years, I've discovered this this card has many different facets of energy that it radiates. So, with this reading, I don't think it's the, the lies and cheaters energy that a lot of readers pin this for. I feel this is also our mental state. So, you know, where is this situationship headed? I think this is a mental state that we're in because we feel or our person feels that it's over. They still want to give us love. Okay. 
they're on their way emotionally to find some kind of fulfillment because there's none here okay and it's like where is this situation ship between my person and I headed you know trying to get snippets somehow still some time with each other like I need to see Taurus and I don't know how so I'll just send them a little hi and then it's like well I don't want to let them go so how's it going you know that kind of energy it's like stealing time you know self-sabotage our self-talk about this you know we're kind of deceiving ourselves let me know how that resonates and of course I'll clarify you know that could very well be the lying cheating card you know going and seeing others you know trying to satisfy you know whatever we need to find that happiness and fulfillment all right so what should I do for the best outcome of this situation ship damn queen of swords queen of swords is the energy of it's like a very harsh corrosive energy where she off with her head kind of situation because she's got a sharp sword and she's totally poker face she's not letting anyone see that big heart she's guarding with that corset is she no one can see that or the memories she harbors from lost loves that have probably used her and turned her into the queen of swords in the in the first place see the beautiful birds she thinks beautiful things very creative with that red hair look at her makeup it's like she is creative but she doesn't want to let on she's got a genetic face it's like no one can see what's in here because she's been so hurt so you know um what should you do for the best outcome stay still poker face see what happens keep that sword up just in case you need to cut something out or someone maybe you need to cut something out so you can move forward with this situation ship all right will this situation ship eventually make you feel happy ace of pentacles that's good <laughs> this situation ship has prospects there is a chance of stability and something long lasting all right a long journey ahead all right so this this situation ship does have a good prospect ace of pentacles is a really good beginning card could uh, like a, a new job okay new something in finance new stability new home new car something it's new so let's clarify what is new with my tarot of dreams all right i really want to say thanks to all all of my beautiful commenters you know you guys have so much amazing creative advice for me and it it, it really motivates me and keeps me strong to keep going with this channel I made a lot of life changes to to stick to this because I really love doing it and I you know I appreciate everyone's feedback I read it all first thing I do when I wake up I get my phone and I read everything and I reply as much as I can it's my passion I look forward to it and I love planning these readings and researching and meditating with spirit finding out what you guys want to ask what do you need to know in your in your situations I really love it so I'm putting it out there that you know I love you more than pray think readers do all right so we've got six of cups with ace of pentacles okay so this is a new beginning instability could this be with another love in the past something long lasting in the past that's going to come back this is memories of love okay that this is like memories like remember see how they're kids it's like looking back and thinking oh yeah I remember that feeling so maybe it's like thinking it's over but it, it there's your person's like surprise I'm back <laughs> it's like oh no <laughs> 
I know some of you are saying that, but it's like maybe, or maybe it's like, yes, they're back. Maybe it's going to last this time. All right, let's see. And at the bottom, just saying there's six of wands, victory. Yay. That's what we want. So it depends. Everyone's got a different, um, and then, you know, ace of wands, by the way, just like that passion when they knock on the door. It's like, <laughs> I don't know. Just saying, maybe. <laughs> All right. So let's clarify these cards, spirit, please, for my gorgeous um, Taurus that I love so much. I use my special cards for you guys, by the way, because it's my favorite and you guys are my favorites. But I love everyone, so, you know, I'm not biased much. All right, let's do it for my Taurus. Taurus, 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 set 27 to the 4th of July. Taurus, Taurus, thank you, spirit. Let's do it. Okie dokie. So, the world, why? <laughs> <laughs> How does my person feel about me now? So you've got nine of coins. So you're ending a cycle to focus on you and your work. And you're going to put your head down and get cracking with that um, independent streak of yours. All right. You're just going to um, focus on you and your gorgeous looks and your life and your pentacles. It's like about all about me now. You know that t-shirt? It's got all about it's all about me kind of which is a, a really good energy for Taurus because that's what we need when we've been through a situation ship that hasn't been fulfilling so it's about time you, you did that and it's really funny because today's card for Instagram I do a daily card every morning and today's card just happened to be Queen of Pentacles and that's totally me just shuffling and it pops out and it's like oh okay so that's today's card I love it and I write a little blurb about it. So join me on Insta if, you, if you're if you into it. But yeah, it's really funny because it's the end of a cycle and heading into independence for us. So Taurus, you know, soak it up because, you know, it's good stuff. All right, King of Cup, uh, Cups with Ace of Swords. So what does your person um, want to... Uh, what changes does your person want to make in regards to this situationship they want to come in and express clarity about how much and how deeply they love you they're like sitting there going i love taurus so very much and it's like i need to make this clear i'm crazy about taurus okay can you see that like king of cups focused on their emotion like big time this is the biggest emotional card like you know i love i love i love kind of with the ace of swords it's like i need to make it clear i need to say it to the point this is how i feel i love taurus what changes does your person want to make i want to bring in the love big time all right so oh this is where we belong isn't it Palace of Coins, this is our home. Taurus, welcome home. This is where we are. We'll just have a big barbecue. So, um, does my person have other situationships? I don't think so. Because they're um, emotionally detached from everything else. Thinking, why can't I get in that Palace of Coins? Can you see? He's at the, at the um, gates going, let me in, Taurus. This is... I want to come in you know this is this queen and king of pentacles are in here you know the queen's making muffins and cupcakes and and doing the icing and at the same time on the phone to her accountant because they're money-minded and thinking about the business and the kings in the office working the business and making sure everyone's getting paid and being generous and offering loans and you know being really smart about the accounts and and the household stuff okay and you know doing the wiring for the electricity because he's a do-it-yourself kind of guy as well and you know there's the the knight of pentacles doing the 10-year diploma because 
he always finishes in the end but he's the slowest guy in the race so he gets it done does every essay twice and makes sure he does revision and you know stuff like that and then the page of coins that's kind of just you know learning the ins and outs of business you know and then of course we've got this character that's kind of just you know being an entrepreneur doing it online and and having her blogs and websites and all that stuff in there and your person saying let me in all right because they're emotionally detached from the world and they want to zoom in on on Taurus all right um, I know this isn't going to resonate for everyone because a lot of you guys are not into it but this is for some people out there that have the Taurus Sun all right check out your rising because a lot of my my readings are through my bot rising and love readings you know are mainly Aries which I'll do very shortly after this um, so where is the situation ship between my person and I heading so you got the notorious seven of swords which is the probably one of the low vibe cards that all readers go oh they cringe okay because it's it's about stealing and thieving and and doing stuff under the radar and hoping not to get caught but they leave evidence behind anyway so where is it heading i feel that this is self-sabotage you know i've had this uh for some clients and it comes out and it's like it doesn't make sense you you're not a thief so it's like us stealing from ourselves talk self-talk telling ourselves you know i'm not good enough or whatever else waiting 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 patiently waiting so is it that we're you know lying to ourselves that it's all going to work out lying to ourselves that it's over <clears throat> oh my god <laughs> I've got word cards. I've got to show you this. I've got these word cards. Okay, about words. Here. And they're, they're words, okay. And look what popped out. It's crazy. I just had to show you that because I just flipped the cards. <laughs> and I thought I'd show you that because it's really interesting. Just, you know, because um okay so what was i saying yeah so maybe we're lying to ourselves that it's over and we're working for on us on our life and you know whatever we are so maybe it's the self-talk that's saying you know yeah it's over i can't live with this i can't you know do this situation ship anymore adios amigos and then at the same time it's oh i hope they're gonna come back you know just knock on my palace door maybe i don't know let's see and then we've got what should we do for the best outcome and this lovely lady came out to say maybe you need to be poker face stay still in your element focus on you with the nine of pentacles and whoever comes close if they're not honorable and doing it by the book the way it should be done you know cut them out because they don't deserve your energy okay and then we've got six of swords so this energy is another air okay Aquarius Libra Gemini this is moving on to somewhere where you feel better because where you were wasn't good okay and coming at you with or coming at whoever with with these swords sticking out and that that steel mask that's kind of a bit freaky you know and coming in the gate going i'm here because i can't be there because you know there i I'm sort of out in the open and my creative mind isn't being appreciated my big heart that i've got to give isn't being you know it's it's not where i want to be i don't want to be the queen of swords i want to be me so 
it's like I gotta I gotta get out of here. All right, Ace of Pentacles. Why three of Pentacles? Pentacles all over the place. So will this situation ship make me happy? So you'll be getting together with some people and talking about longevity, finance could be a loan. Okay, so will this situation ship make me happy? Getting together and talking about money. That's Taurus for you, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> it's like um, getting together with a couple of people and talking about where is the money? Uh, why? So do you, is there money involved in this situation? Is there a work? Are you going to be offered a job? Or is there... Because this is something pliable, something substantial inheritance, you know, money. Getting together and saying, this is what we're going to do. All right, I've got to clarify because it's going to drive me crazy. What are you going to get together and talk about money for when this is a situationship reading? It's not a career and finance reading. By the way, I'll be changing up the questions for Korean finance. My meditation was really good and um, well it's always really good but this one I've, I've got some really good questions I think he's are gonna like for next week so ace of pentacles with three of coins why spirit why is that the <laughs> well it does make us happy to talk about money isn't it doesn't it like isn't that something we're really focused on that's why we're the nine of coins right now we're ending this cycle because we're focusing on us and our money and our, you know, stuff. So is that us getting together and saying, hey, I'm sorry, I need to focus on, you know, um, my money. <laughs> the cards are literally doing somersault, saying, hey, focus on me. They're like behaving like kids. <laughs> like, look at me, I'm here. Okay, Spirit, let's do this for my gorgeous Taurus. Mm. Rest and rejuvenation. So taking a break. Taking a break. That's like, I need, uh, uh, wasn't I just talking about meditating? So maybe Spirit's saying, all right, you've meditated, now get to the careers in finance. I don't know. <laughs> maybe. But this is good because it's getting together with a couple of people and saying, let's talk about, you know, money. I don't know. Is that what you're going to do with your person? Let me know. It's really interesting. I think it's, you know, mainly about talking about uh, longevity. Like, where are we going? What are we doing? Is this going to last? Do we have the money to deal with this? I don't know. Just saying... Maybe because it's an Ace of Coins and Three of Pentacles, which means getting together and talking about finance, and um, but something long lasting. So, are we going to get married? Let's see. You know, is it a situation ship, a relationship? Are we actually doing this, or is it going to be the world where we say see you later, alligator, and do it for ourselves? All right. Let me know how this resonates. I really loved doing this reading for you. I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And I send you much love, light and blessings. Bye my Taurus.